some pieces that the lyrics themselves speak to my heart and those we can sing with passion because we believe them to our, the depths of our soul. There are other songs that it's partly the history that brought us to love a certain song. I was even reading the um, history of Sweet Little Jesus Boy. Man, how powerful it is. It was written by a white composer, Robert McGimsey, who was from Louisiana. And he was inspired to write this black spiritual because as he was walking home one day during the Depression, he was hurting because of how commercial people were making Christmas holiday. He had grown up being influenced by African Americans. His own nanny was an African American. He wrote it in a style that would honor them because they helped him to see the beauty in Christmas and how they celebrated Christmas was about singing and worshiping and praise to the Lord. I think we're all looking for something to bring unity. And sometimes it's a, it seems like a, a dark pit because we don't know what will. But when you read a story like this, it's a really sweet and powerful story. And music alone is powerful. But then when you mix it with testimony of a godly influence from a black nanny to the little boy she's to care for, when you think about it in that sense, it makes this song even more powerful.
Hey campers, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. And if you want more from the amazing artists you just heard, there's a link to their music in the description below. Also, to watch more episodes, click the video on the left. And if you're new around here, watch that video to the right. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We can't wait to be adventurous with you again soon. Over, Over and out. out.